the Riri Heart Mac Collection Quad, her Coco. Apply the pinky beige to your eyelid. Now apply it to the other eyelid. Apply the golden bronze to your crease and to the front part of your eyelid. Not this part, but that part. Do the same here. Now apply this warm, soft golden brown to the crease. Blend, 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 and blend. Did I forget to mention to blend? A cool trick to apply your eyeshadow is to open your eyes slightly and to just press a little bit into your crease, not too harsh. And then just to go back and forth and you can see that the blending goes really easy like that and you will perfectly just shadow your crease, you know, it's just the natural flow. So now you apply the eyeshadow also to the corners of your eyes and here you can see it a little bit better. It needs to really be blended in. As the application of the eyeshadow continues, blend, 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 blend. Also here, and then also make sure to apply the eyeshadow to your outer corner of this eye. Now I took a more fluffier brush, a blending brush, to really get to blending like i said blend 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 is what we gotta do so that we get this soft riri look Now we take Max Brown Gel Liner and a brush like this, a thin brush. And the way I apply my eyeliner is actually starting from the outer corner of my lash line. And you know, I'm actually giving it reverse strokes, soft strokes of course. And then also, you know, lining it back and forth. You know, now I'm winging it out. I'm creating the wing, as you can see. And then I'm pulling it to the front, and then I go from the front and pulling it to the middle. So this is how I actually adjust my wing. I always do it differently, but for this style of eyeliner shape, I think it's best to do it like that. It's just my own style. Everybody can do it differently. But this is how I really like to do it. So here again, I start from the outer corner of my eyes, pull it in, I always do it differently, like literally. Now I'm even starting to wing it out and then I'm pulling it into the middle, like that. And going from the inner corner of my eyes, of my lash line, pulling it to the middle, now winging, now pulling it from the outer corner of my lash line and back and forth, vice versa. You see this?
Now I'm actually applying a little bit of the gel liner to my lower lash line and I'm smudging it with my finger just so that it looks a little bit blended. I do the same on the other eye. Applying it again with soft strokes and I'm slightly combining it with my upper lash line eyeliner. I have used Riri's Talk That Talk lipstick and the attached collection lip liner, the dark one. I feel that the lips have to be primed. Actually, I haven't primed them. I've used that lip liner and I don't think that it's really good to use the lip liner or the lipstick without the lip liner, to my opinion. And this is the Riri Lash. Mac already has them. I think it's the lash number 32, but I'm not sure. Okay, let me apply the Talk That Talk lipstick and see what happens. I gotta tell you guys something. So funny. I was at the Mac store applying this lipstick and Q Sweat walked by and waved to me outside of the Mac window. So funny. And then he invited me to his concert, by the way. Funny story. I think I'm more pleased with the outcome of the lip liner because um, it's a little bit feathering. I don't know. Lip liner pencil and the lipstick. Talk that talk, baby. Don't forget to hit the thumb up button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and good luck.